A year and a half after a deadly state police helicopter crash near Santa Fe, a new federal report is out and it includes some explosive allegations from a past chief pilot. He claims the brass put pressure on pilots to fly when it, they didn't think it was safe. Here is News 13's Ian Schwartz. The state police helicopter crashed on Santa Fe Baldy in June 2009. Chief Pilot Sergeant Andy Tingwall and his spotter had just rescued a lost hiker in the dark. Moments after Tingwall took off in sleet and high winds, the tail of the helicopter clipped a tree or a rock. The helicopter tumbled down a steep slope. Tingwall and the hiker both died in the crash. His spotter survived. Sergeant Tingwall uh, took the flight because he felt that he had the capability and the skill and the weather was uh, cooperating at the time. Now a preliminary National Transportation Safety Board report raises new questions about why Tingwall chose to fly that night. It says at first he said it was too windy to fly and offered to go up later that night or the next morning. Five minutes later, Tingwall called back and said he'd fly. But a former chief pilot for state police told the NTSB that pilots felt pressured to fly from DPS Secretary John Danko. Michael Dowd, who declined an on-camera interview, says Danko would micromanage the aviation wing and get angry when pilots wouldn't fly. State Police Chief Farron Sagata agreed that many people thought Danko, a former pilot, micromanaged the aviation wing. He wanted to make sure that, again, if the citizens are paying for that resource, that we're utilizing it every chance that we can. Dowd says Denko demoted him from chief pilot in 2006 after he refused to allow pilots to fly a rescue mission to a plane crash near Mora because of bad weather. Chief Sagata remembered being chewed out by Danko after the pilot's refusal. He was animated and he was, he was not happy that the, the, the mission wasn't flown that night and he was expressing that as colorfully as he can. Dowd tells News 13 he thinks Tingwall went up that night last year because of pressure from Danko. Dowd says, quote, I think he killed Andy Tingwall. He was 99% responsible for his death. I'll go to my grave thinking that. Danko declined to go on camera but says Dowd is disgruntled and his accusations are hurtful. Danko denies being the one who demoted Dowd and says he never pressured pilots to fly. In the end, we may never know why Tingwall decided to fly that night. He would be the only one, I guess, that would be able to shed any, any light on, on what his thought process was that day. And unfortunately, we don't have that. That was Ian Swartz reporting. As for John Dinko, he'll be replaced as DPS secretary come January 1st when Susana Martinez takes over as governor. The